welcome back to my channel, Dollar Tree Thursday. I'm excited about this Dollar Tree haul. It is a huge win. I did not expect to buy as many things as I did this week at the Dollar Tree, but you know how that goes. And I'm excited because I'm collabing again with my girls, Courtney and Carly. Please go and check out their channel. Their channel is in the description box down below. And if you love makeup tutorials, makeup drugstore trying products out, and other videos, you're going to love their channel. They are so sweet and so awesome, and they do great things on their channel with makeup especially. I love watching their videos because I don't have to go out and buy any higher end makeup or drugstore products until they test them they let y'all know if they are good or not i highly recommend them love them so much so i'm collabing with them they're going to be doing a dollar tree haul as well so go check out their dollar tree haul with the description down below so if you want to see what i got from dollar tree this week stick around for this video all right guys so i got a ton of stuff i can't believe how much i got but i plan on doing a bunch of diys so i kind of went a little cray cray in that department but the first thing that I got was these ghosts. Now I've seen these ghosts, they've been hauled by everybody, but I picked them up myself and they've been at my store for a while, but I finally decided that I needed them in my life. And I got two of them and we have a Halloween party at my house every year, an annual Burgess Halloween party. And I thought these would be so cute just to hang up like in the garage where our party is. And they're just styrofoam inside um, and they keep their shape. But I thought they're like really long and I thought they were nice quality for a buck. So I got two of them. All right, speaking of DIY stuff, I have been getting on Pinterest and I know it's a no-no to get on Pinterest because you wind up getting on there forever in a day and that's what's happened to me. I haven't gotten on there in forever but I'm going a little DIY crazy as far as all these ideas because I love fall and Halloween. It's my favorite, favorite time of year out of everything it's my favorite so I saw all these great DIYs with these carvable pumpkins and our Dollar Trees are loaded with them right now they are carvable pumpkins it doesn't matter if they have anything on them um, if they've already been ding dinged up because we're gonna be spray painting these anyway but I saw a really cute idea where you cut the top layer of this off and you put this platter which is also from Dollar Tree on top of it and it will make as a candle holder for like your three wick candles and I thought that would be so cute and beautiful I'm gonna probably spray paint it like a nice bronzy color or a copper brass color or something like that so I'm gonna look in the store for a really cute color like that for fall and I'm probably I don't know if I'm gonna chalkboard this or what but I got some ideas going on so if you want to see a DIY of me making this a video on that I will be glad to make that for you hopefully it comes out okay but um, that's my first DIY I'm thinking of all right my second DIY that I'm thinking of doing I saw do it on a dimes video and she had a lot of quick ideas to put together for a fall and Halloween decor at the Dollar Tree and she was talking about these wreath and these are the willow wreath and they're 12 inches and it's just like the wick ones which I really love these the bigger ones making wreaths out of them they're just really cute and very rustic and country which I love but she had a good idea with using these little ones and maybe putting some floral stuff in them which I also got at Dollar Tree so I picked up two of these guys they're all tangled up but um, I thought they were really cute they have little pumpkins and little like berries or something in them but I just thought they were really cute so I'm either going to interwind those in here and use this and again as a candle centerpiece or just a centerpiece in general for your tables I thought was really nice so I'm either going to use this um, floral arrangement stuff to like um, weave in here or I'm going to use this ribbon which I just fell in love with look at that guys it is plaid but it's got the browns and the copper tones in there with some glittery tones and you get how much in here you get nine feet Feet, which I thought was a really great deal so I might even like wind this around here and see if that looks pretty maybe I don't know I don't know guys but I'm going to I have some ideas I have things floating in my head and I have an Etsy shop so I got a little bit of a craftiness in me but we're gonna see I'm gonna play around with it and I'll post this on Instagram y'all can follow me right here if y'all want to see this because I won't do a DIY video on this but I will post on Instagram and let y'all know how it came out all right this is the last of the craft stuff that I got as far as thinking of DIY stuff now I did get this floral garden 13 foot decorative nautical rope now I've seen other people haul this way back when but my store is just now getting it and it is so nice guys like the quality of this is this is heavy duty quality I'm telling you and this kind of stuff at Hobby Lobby is mega expensive so I could not believe it when I saw it at the Dollar Tree so I'm using this um, to making like some bows and stuff possibly and I also got it for y'all remember those galvanized buckets that I got with the twine already wrapped around it I thought this might be nice to make like a twine bow 
to add to that. And I also got these. This is the floral foam to add at the bottom of those galvanized buckets because I do plan on either using them for real flowers outside or using them for a fake fall arrangement. And if I do, I'm going to need some of this floral foam to use. And I thought this would be the perfect size for the base of those buckets. So again, another DIY and I'll post this on Insta. I got some more juice. I've been hauling this every week because the kids love it. It's the Old Orchard Healthy Balance and this is the grape. I haven't been able to find the grape at my big Dollar Tree, only my smaller one. So when I've been seeing it, I've been snagging it up while I can. It's great for you. Y'all are asking how many grams of sugar it has and I think I told y'all wrong before, but it is made and sweetens with Splenda and it's got six grams of sugar for every eight ounces. So it's got less sugar than I thought. I thought it had eight grams of sugar, but it's six grams of sugar for every eight ounces and it is 25 calories 20 milligrams of sodium it's got potassium so it's filtered water grape juice concentrate um, the different acids and sweeten with Splenda so I think it's a pretty good product and for a dollar for 64 ounces you cannot go wrong y'all know it's not a Dollar Tree haul without some food products for me I love getting food from the Dollar Tree it was on my top 10 things I just love getting food from there so I got a bunch so the first thing I got was a repeat by the Mrs. Freshly's delicious deals bars you get how many in here six in here and this is the mixed fruit Trey is obsessed with the next thing I got was a three pack of the Boulder Canyon baked cheese fries and don't go in the Dollar Tree when you're hungry because it's a mistake I always go when I'm hungry because I go after work but these don't expire until December 22nd 2017 and they just looked delicious and again I love anything like this at the Dollar Tree where it is something that is like a name brand and you get like three or four in a pack and you can add it to your lunch it's just one of my jams I love getting that from the Dollar Tree I've never tried these before but they look delicious so I cannot wait to give them a go another repeat purchase Trey was with me one of the days we went to the Dollar Tree and we had to pick up some delicious deals oatmeal cream pies because it is Trey's jam I was excited to see some Duncan Hines products at my Dollar Tree and these are the Duncan Hines perfect size rich or red velvet crush cake mix with chocolate glaze mix and includes the six inch heart pan cake mix and the glaze mix so this is um, new to my DT anyway I haven't seen them at my DT we did get the other perfect portions before but this is probably came out for Valentine's Day it looks like and as far as the expiration date on it it doesn't expire until December 9th of this year so it is still in date they had a ton of these so um, the ones we've used before like this are pretty yummy so I was excited to see this one and red velvet cake with a chocolate glaze yum sign me up so I got one of those to test out, but I know when I go next time, they'll probably be gone. But I did get these, and yes, they're probably not the best deal for a dollar, but it is as far as time. Um, I don't have to go out and make a big cake. This is just perfect size for one. Duncan Hines, the ones that you put in the little cups. So this is a chocolate lover's cake, and it's one individual serving. So you put you, all you need is your mug, your cake mix pouch, and three tablespoons of water, and you are good to go and have a nice little dessert. So I got one for me in the hubby because I thought this would be really good just to make really quick, and I don't have to mess up a lot of stuff in the kitchen, and I don't have to spend time. So yeah, when I'd want something sweet and I want it in a pinch, I thought this might be good. So for a dollar, mm, not the best deal probably, but it is as far as cleaning up and mommy time. They had minced garlic at my Dollar Tree. I've never tried this before, but this is the Supreme Tradition 8 ounces, and it says as far as the ingredients, garlic, water, citric acid, and that's it. So it doesn't have any like artificial stuff in it, and it is a Greenbrier product, but I thought I would give it a go. It is 8 ounces, and I love using minced garlic for some of my crock pot recipes instead of having to chop it up myself, so I thought that might be a good addition. I also got some bread. I can't go to the DT without getting bread. And again, the cobblestone bagels. Yes, I'm just addicted to them. They taste so good. The cinnamon raisin ones, and I know these are way more than a buck at other places. So yeah, happy to find those at DT. And also cobblestone had the toasted onion. I pick these up whenever I can because they remind me of Arby's. I mentioned before, an Arby's beef and cheddar is my jam. I haven't had one in forever. I need to make a trip and go because I love me some Arby's. But we make like roast beef sandwiches or like my pulled pork and the crock pot recipe. I'll put them on these buns. So I stick these guys in the freezers and freezer and have them for um, a quick pinch for like thawing out the pulled pork and having dinner. So that's good. Um, I also did pick up some frozen fruit, which is great at the Dollar Tree, a great find, but it was the other day, so obviously I don't have it. So I have pictures of the frozen items that I found, and I did pick up a loaf of Wonder Bread. I found the Chupa Chup Suckers, a lollipops that everybody's been hauling. I was excited to see these, and then these were in the Halloween section for me. They weren't in the regular candy section, if you're wondering. 
These are the mini Chupa Chups, and these are fat-free, peanut-free, 25 calories per pop, gluten-free, and you get 22 in there. And as far as flavors go, you got orange, strawberry, cherry, um, cocoa, vanilla, and strawberry vanilla. So yeah, I thought my kids would love these, so I got the little mini ones. And I also got the best of um, cola creamy fruit lollipops, and these are the bigger ones. And again, this is cherry, strawberry, strawberry vanilla, and cola. So these are the bigger ones. These have 45 to 50 calories. So I thought these would be fun for the kids to enjoy. So we're going to pull these out for a treat every once in a while. Speaking of treats for the kids, I went ahead and got these flashing LED wands. And these are the baton LED wands. And there's seven flash modes, wrist strap included. It takes three LR44 batteries, which are included because I don't even know what kind of battery that is. Um, but they looked really, really cute. So they're just little wands. And I think I might even put this away for a stocking stuffer for Christmas. I'm trying to pick things up at the Dollar Tree whenever I can find them for little stocking stuffers and little presents for Christmas for the boys. And I thought this would be a good addition. I might even pull them out for Halloween because they are lighted for when we go trick-or-treating. So I thought they were cute. I found some more e.l.f. products. And these are the shine erasers. And they contain 50 sheets of oil blotting sheets. I've been looking for these. I got one for me and I got one for y'all as well to put in a future giveaway. And um, I've heard people say that these work really well. So I was excited to find them. And I know they're more expensive than a buck um, any place else because they still sell these in stores. So happy to find these guys. I got some nail polish and no, I did not find any of my fake nails this week. Um, thank you so much to Couponing Misty. She sent me these awesome nails that I've been on the hunt for. I'm so excited to be able to wear them. Hopefully I see them soon because I'm stocking up and when I do, I am and I'm going to get some for y'all too. But I got these LA Colors nail duets. I thought these were so stinking cute. This one is in give and take and this is for y'all, not for me. This is a hot pink color and then it's got a blue glittery color as well. It shows you there how you could do the nail but you know you could just use this for an accent finger instead of trying to be all swanky like that and I got this one for me this is a black and a gold color I am a Saints fan true and true I live in Louisiana and this is Saints colors I thought that was just perfect I'm definitely going to be coloring my nails like this in October for fall I think that would be cute anyway but yeah I got one for me and one for you these are awesome wish list item found I could not believe I found this y'all this was the only one on a random shelf anywhere in my Dollar Tree this is the feather tumbler I've been looking for forever. I'm obsessed with feathers. Most of y'all know that. So it is just so stinking cute. I mean, they had the same pattern for the note cards that we hauled, but I saw other people hauling them in the tumblers and I said, oh my gosh, I've got to find that. And they had one. So I was so excited to find it. My store had the breast cancer awareness stuff out in full force. I took lots of pictures at the end to make sure to stay tuned for those of all the different things. They had tons of awesome things for breast cancer awareness for the month of October, but I did get this eight pack of the breast cancer awareness and this is by ink and these are the eight ballpoint pens and this is black ink it's not pink but I know these pens are good I've tried them before and you get eight in there for a dollar and they're so stinking cute with the breast cancer awareness pink on there I thought that was adorable so I got a set for me and I got a set for y'all for a future giveaway I also got this for y'all too this is the double wall travel mug and this is the breast cancer awareness travel mug now this comes off so you will just be left with a pink um, holder there to not burn your hands and I thought that was really cute for breast cancer awareness month and they had a ton of socks I took pictures of the socks but these were my favorite out of all I just love the cute little hearts and the ribbons on there for breast cancer awareness adorable so yeah definitely check your store they've got tons of breast cancer awareness stuff out right now last but not least I wanted to throw in this bag and show y'all my friend here on YouTube Becky she made me this bag look how adorable it is eat sleep Dollar Tree repeat OMG when she sent this to me I almost died when I opened the box I'm in love with this bag I've been using it to store some of my Dollar Tree stuff and when I go do my hauls thank you Becky I love it and um, a lot of people on Instagram were like I need that bag so girl you need to start selling these to be making some money all right guys so that was my Dollar Tree haul this week give it a thumbs up if you're loving these Dollar Tree hauls every single week and hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already because I would love to have you a part of the YouTube family here make sure to stay tuned for the pictures at the end and make sure to go and check out Courtney and Carly's channel down below go and tell them that Nicole sent you tell them that I sent you send them some love love them so much you're gonna love them too so go and check them out love you guys so much thank you so much for watching as always stay tuned for the pictures have a great weekend and I'll see you next week with another haul y'all bye
look at you staying all the way till the end to watch those pictures. So we got to do a giveaway, y'all. All right, so what's in this bag, minion bag of stuff I have collected for the past few months? Y'all know I've been picking up stuff for y'all, so let's see. So in the giveaway, for this giveaway, I've got one of these knee new shoes, and these are the banks, and so many of y'all said that you never found them. Haven't seen them since, but I did get one for y'all way back when, so that will be coming to you. I do have these slippers in here. These are adorable. I wanted to keep these for myself, but I got them for y'all. I do have a pair, but they're not as cute as these. They're soft, and I just stinking love these slippers, so you're going to be getting some of those. I did throw in some fake nails because we like to get fake nail wasted up in here, right? So I got some of these for y'all, and these are the, the pretty little butterfly ones, the black and the blue. That would be perfect for fall, so you're going to get those. I am including some retinol face masks, and these are by Global Beauty Care, so you're going to be getting five of those, and let's see, yes, one face mask per little thing. You get five of those, so I love a face mask, so that will be coming. If you don't have a face mask, face mask, you can always put this on, Sweet Dreams little eye patch for a night when you want to relax or in the bathtub. That would be awesome. These are from Dollar Tree, but I did get them at Dollar General. I thought they were so cute. These are the Kiss um, stick-on nail strips, and they do have some like this currently at Dollar Tree, but not in these patterns. So I got this one. It just reminded me of like the galaxy, and I thought that was so pretty, and that would be good for fall too. And then this one's fun. It's like those pow and crush and stuff like superhero girls. I thought that was so stinking cute. So yeah, perfect for like Halloween or fall coming up. So that's going to be in there. Again, I have a million of these that I've bought for y'all, and this is the foxes, the bear, and something else little notebooks that y'all have been loving and saying that y'all cannot find, so you get a three-pack of those will be included. I am also including these. I got these way back when for y'all, but the whole set of the cutting boards, and I love these cutting boards. The knives for these cutting boards are way better than I thought, so I thought they were going to be chinchy and I was going to have to throw them out, but they're actually pretty good. So you're going to be getting the lemon the strawberry and the apple and I have the apple and the lemon and I love it gonna be throwing in some kiss lashes and those haute couture lashes are the bomb va va voom right so this is my last set I think I have to send to y'all these are awesome especially with Halloween coming up if you want to dress up I've got this on my purse. I put it on my, it was in my Dollar Tree haul last week, and that's the Owl keychain. So many of y'all said that y'all liked it, so yes, that is going in the giveaway for y'all. I've got one of these Rimmel Keep Calm and Lip Balm, and that is in the shade Pink Blush. You'll be getting one of those. I've also got a magnet, and this one's so cute. It says, Fries Before Guys. That is so cute. I know y'all gonna love that. Another one of these candles, You Are My Sunshine, and that was in the giveaway last time. So many of y'all said that y'all never did find those. That's the last one that I have that's going to be coming to you. Then I've got some more nail stuff. I've got some more stickers. These are, these are the sassy and chic ones, and these are the patterns on those. So those are really cute if you like the stick-on ones. I'm not a big fan of the stick-on ones, I have to be honest. I really have to work with them, but I know a lot of y'all like those versus these. So that's why I like to include them. All right, tons of notebooks. Let's get no notebook wasted, right? So here's a 2017-18 planner. So I know it's a little bit late in the game, but that's coming to you. And it does have 2018 in there too, so it's not that late in the game. Then we've got this donut, underestimate yourself. So stinking cute with the donuts on there. Love that. I love these pads for the refrigerator, guys. These are my jam. I have so many of them. I love this one with the donuts. I have this for myself, too, but I haven't pulled it out to use it yet. But, yeah, that's coming for y'all. That's adorable. Things to do with the cute fruit. Love it. And then sweet with the ice cream cone. You can't go wrong with those. Those are bomb. And then let's see what else we got in here. Last but not least, I love this for y'all. Sorry you're shaking. I got these for y'all, and these have been hauled way back when, but I've been saving them up. These are the signs. So you were born to sparkle. I have this by my vanity. I love it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is by my bathtub and my master bath. And then Hello Gorgeous. This is one of my favorite signs I've ever hauled from Dollar Tree. This is by my vanity. I just think it's so stinking pretty. But I have all these. I love these. Um, these were probably the first thing I ever got super excited about hauling at the Dollar Tree. And yeah, I love these and I had to get those for y'all. So uh, what do you have to do to enter this giveaway just like last time? You have to leave a comment down below because that's what gets picked from the generator. It picks a comment. And the comment that I want you to leave this week is what is the 
what is the thing that you've seen me haul that you are just in love with? So what is your favorite thing that you've ever seen me haul in my Dollar Tree hauls? It can be anything, but the most favorite thing you've ever seen me haul. It might be something that you still have on your wish list, or it might be something that you found, but it was your favorite thing that you saw me haul, and you had to go out to the DT and go and get it. Comment down below, and you can have a chance to win in this giveaway. I will announce the winner next week for my Dollar Tree haul next Thursday, so please make sure to watch, because if you don't, then you don't. Um, know that you won and then I pick another winner and that's what happened last time so make sure that you watch so you can see if you won good luck to everybody I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one bye